The Savant iPad app supports both portrait and landscape orientation modes when the rotate feature is enabled on the iPad. All control interfaces remain the same, however the location of some features will move to left-right placement when in landscape mode. We will use the portrait aspect for this tutorial. The Savant iPad app is best understood when broken down into the four control menus. The Device Categories menu provides groups of devices. For example, Video would include all cable, satellite, DVD, or other video devices. Audio would include SAT radio, iTunes media, or other audio devices. Environment would include HVAC, lighting, and security. The Power Control menu provides power control over single zones, whole house power control, or the active service. In simple terms, power control powers the zone or entire system off. The Device Control menu provides device control over the active device. The Device Selection menu provides the counterpart to the Device Categories menu. This menu provides individual devices that are members of a selected device category. Upon first launching the app, the last zone selected prior to closing the app will be the default control zone. To move to an alternate zone, press and release the zone button. This will pop up the zone menu providing all the available zones in the system. Selecting a zone will then provide all the available device categories in the device categories menu for that zone and device selection can continue. Selecting the device category video will provide all the available video devices in the device selection menu at the bottom of the screen. Video devices are simply sources you will view on your television, such as satellite, cable, or DVD. Selecting a device will then activate the necessary steps to provide your selection for viewing or listening. Should more than one device be available within this subcategory, a pop-up menu will provide all the available type devices. Upon selection, the device control menu is populated with the control interface for the active device. Repeat these steps as needed to control other devices. Audio control is accomplished using the volume up, volume down, and mute buttons to the left of the iPad screen. Controlling the app is accomplished through conventional button presses. However, two buttons support press and hold features, the zone button and the power button. A single press and release of the power button will power off the active zone displayed on the zone button. Press and hold will display a pop-up menu providing additional power controls as described. Here you can power off the active zone, the entire system, or the active service. Similarly, the zone button also supports push and hold. A single press and release will display a pop-up menu providing all the zones in the system. This menu also displays other active zones in the system and the active services within those zones. Press and hold will display a pop-up that provides the multi-zone control features. Multi-zone provides the option to power individual zones on and off and also control volume and mute within those zones. Active zones will have a blue power button, inactive black. It should be noted that zones listed in the multi-zone pop-up are zones that support the currently active service in the zone being controlled. For example, if cable is active in the zone you are controlling and the multi-zone pop-up is displayed, the zones listed support that service. Zones not listed do not. This multi-zone menu is provided to quickly assign the locally active service to multiple zones for parties, or if one finds oneself migrating throughout the property, and the need to have multiple rooms active arises. Thanks for listening.